Let me start. Hello, my name is Dr. Karen McLennan. I'm an audiologist. Today we'll be discussing how to determine degree of hearing loss. During this presentation, we will review the audiogram, two of the symbols that are used on the audiogram, and finally, we'll review the varying degrees of hearing loss. This is an audiogram, and on the horizontal axis, we have frequency or pitch represented. During an audiological evaluation, we evaluate hearing between 250 and 8,000 hertz. Our ears can hear many more frequencies than that. However, for the audiological eval, we test between 250 and 8,000 hertz. On the vertical axis, we have hearing level, represented in dB or decibels. There are two symbols that we'll be talking about today, and that's the right and left ear air conduction symbols, the circle and the X. Let's review the varying degrees of hearing and hearing loss. If your thresholds, which are the softest sounds that you can hear, fall between 0 and 15 dB, we say your hearing is within normal limits. If your air conduction thresholds fall between 16 and 25 dB, we say there is a slight hearing loss. If your right and left ear air conduction thresholds fall between 26 and 40 decibels, we say there is a mild hearing loss. If thresholds, or the circles and X's, fall between 41 and 55 dB, we say there is a moderate hearing loss. If thresholds fall between 56 and 70 decibels, we say there's a moderately severe hearing loss. If thresholds fall between 71 and 85 dB, we say there is a severe hearing loss. If air conduction thresholds are greater than 86 decibels, we say there is a profound hearing loss. So let's review audiometric symbols on the audiogram. And in this image, you can see we've moved our degrees of hearing loss over to the right side of the screen so we can view the audiogram more clearly. On this audiogram, we see left ear air conduction thresholds depicted at 20 decibels. When air conduction thresholds are at 20 decibels, we can say a, a slight hearing loss is present. Let's review another example. In this example, we see left ear air conduction thresholds, which are represented by the X, falls within the severe hearing loss range. Let's look at one more example. Here we have right ear air conduction thresholds on the audiogram. These air conduction thresholds for the right ear fall within the moderately severe hearing loss range. I hope you found this information helpful. As always, if you have any questions, you can email me at karen.mclennan at liu.edu.